What was San Francisco like when you were there? Oh, I mean, what, what was the culture? What was happening on the street? What were the folks like? The club? Who were the artists that you were seeing when you were out? You know, well, we night? saw the Grateful Dead the very first time they ever played anywhere. It was at Fugazi Hall, an Italian social club. Well, it's Chuck Gregory, the guy who I replaced, he was promoting that, telling everybody to come and see this band, this band with this great guitar player. And the thing in San Francisco that was really different from any other place I'd ever been, as far as the music scene goes, all the promotion people were friends. But when I say friends, if you wanted to come to my show, I you'd say, Rich, do you have a couple of tickets? I, of course. We all interchanged tickets, so we got to see every band that came to town that we wanted to see because some promotion guy gave us the tickets, or, or woman. The only woman was Pam Burns. The only promotion woman was the, and the, the, the rap was, oh, you can't have a woman being promotion because she'll, She'll start screwing the program director and put her in, you know, and I used to say, what, what, what kind of crap is that? Why are you talking like that about, if you hire a professional woman, you think she's going to jeopardize her job by sleeping with one of these guys? And Pam, I loved because she, she was the one when Clive came to San Francisco, he was going to take us to dinner. And, and he, he came there to see It's a Beautiful Day. And the, the office manager then wasn't Stan from Connecticut here. It was this other jackass who was afraid of his own shadow. And he said, oh, I hear that Clive wants to take us to dinner. I don't think he really wants to do that. It was just, so I went out with Pam and had a drink and I said, Pam, what do I do? This office manager is telling all of the, all of the people that work for him that they shouldn't even think about going. She said, "Richard, you get on the phone and you call everybody in your office and you tell them you're going to go to dinner with Clive, and they should all do the same." And so we did. Now you say, "What was it like?" A lot of Italians in North Beach. It was so unique. I've never seen anything like that anywhere. The camaraderie, going to uh, Enrico's, that was owned by Enrico Banducci, who owned the Hungry Eye. That's where I went to see one night when I was with RCA, I went to see Barbara Streisand. And I said to the promotion man, of course I couldn't get in free, I said to our RCA promotion man, could you get me in to see Barbara Streisand? He goes, what the hell do you want to see her for? You were with RCA and she was with Columbia. Right, right. right. She was with Columbia. I said, w I only have to see artists that are on my label? That's ridiculous. I want to see her. I saw her on TV singing, Happy days are here again. Da, da. And I said, I hated that song. That was the Democratic National, when they go out there and... Milwaukee says, yada, 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 from, you know, happy days are, and cigars. I said, this lady took this song and slowed it down and made it beautiful. He said, all right, all right, I'll get you in. So I went by myself. you my funny valentine, sweet comic valentine. When it was all over at Enrico's, I went to the bar and all of a sudden she comes walking in. I mean, nobody knew who she was. You know, the crowd had gone home. She came over and she said, I saw you. You enjoyed the show, didn't you? I said, I loved the show. And I told her, that, you know, I was with RCA, blah, 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 blah. And I said, so what are you doing? She said, well, I was waiting for an interview, but my promotion person didn't show up. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I said, well, who are you supposed to be doing? She gave me the name of the guy. I called the guy at home and said, hey, you're supposed to be in, you know. So he came, he did an interview with her. I waited. When it was all over, 
She goes, well, what do you want to do now? I said, let's go to Enrico's and have a drink. And we went across the street, we had a drink, and she said, listen, why don't you come tomorrow with me and my girlfriend, the girl from Ipanema, Astrid, Astrid Gilbert. Gilbert. She goes, my girlfriend Astrid and I are going to go to a, we're going to go shopping to a used clothing store. I said, Barbara, I got a job. I can't go shopping with you, you know. So that was it. 